Rattlesnakes are the most dangerous snakes in the United States. They bite more people than any other snake and are also responsible for the most deaths. That's why it's critical that you know when rattlesnakes are the most likely to roam. This is especially true if you reside in an area of the country that is known to have a high population of rattlesnakes. Unfortunately, rattlesnakes are more or less a snake for all seasons. While their activity levels change with the seasons, they are most always active, shy of the dead of winter. Rattlesnakes are masters at adapting to conditions. They roam at night during the summer months and lay low during the day to escape the heat. In the spring and fall, they're a bit more active during the day and sleep at night. During the entire calendar year, barring extreme weather conditions, they will roam at dusk. So, as you can see, they're always on the scene in some capacity. In this material, we'll discuss the activity of rattlesnakes and when they choose to roam, hunt, lay eggs, etc. We will also detail the ideal temperature for rattlesnakes and what temperatures can potentially pose a threat to their life. Enjoy the video. We hope you find it informative. Rattlesnakes do the bulk of their hunting, mating, exploring, and laying of eggs at night while resting during the day. Although rattlesnakes are cold-blooded and need heat to properly digest their food and maneuver with a bit more ease, too much sun can lead to health problems. Because rattlesnakes are unable to regulate their body temperature, they need the night hours in order to survive during the harsh winter months. The night setting also provides cover from predators and allows rattlesnakes a better opportunity to stake claim to prey. Rattlesnakes are ambush hunters, so they're able to lay in wait under the darkness of night and strike without a second's notice. If you would like to know more about rattlesnakes and their night hunting practices, please visit us at snakesforpets.com. If you're viewing this video off-site, we invite you to click the initial link in the description box that is available to you. Said link will take you to this important information. Although we've mentioned the night moves of a rattlesnake and how extreme heat can be a severe deterrent to health, the right amount of warmth is ideal and necessary. Anything upwards of 60 degrees is usually the bar. Rattlesnakes will brumate in the dead of winter and often emerge in early spring, around March or April, perhaps early May, in extreme cold climate areas of the United States. Springtime is mating season for rattlesnakes. You can expect them to be out and about during this time, if for no other reason than looking for a mate. As temperatures slowly begin to increase and the season transitions from spring to summer, one can expect to see rattlesnakes more at dusk. While they'll come out in the day during the spring season, they'll slowly begin to scale back the hotter it gets. 73 degrees on a spring afternoon compared to 93 on a summer day is quite an extreme difference for a rattlesnake. Rattlesnakes are content with 80 to 85 degrees. That's the happy zone when it comes to temperature. Anything north of 90 to 95 and they will have difficulty regulating their body temperature. In terms of the heat topping out at 100 degrees plus, that can kill a rattlesnake. 105 to 115 and it becomes hiding time. Rattlesnakes will seek shelter in their dens, under logs, under brush, anything they can find to escape the brutal temperatures. As the seasons press on and the weather begins to turn cooler, rattlesnakes will start to become less active entirely and will eventually brumate. This will begin in late fall and carry throughout the winter months. The desired location for a rattlesnake is a den. When rattlesnakes aren't active, they need a spot to escape the elements. Rattlesnakes will set up shop below the frost line. This is the depth of ground below soil that avoids freezing during the cold winter months. Snakes will not survive winter very long if they are faced with below freezing temperatures for numerous nights. This is why proper dens are so vital. If a rattlesnake has a quality den, it will revisit it time and time again. Although it's unclear as to why rattlesnakes remember their dens, Scientists speculate that it has to do with a signature pheromone trail. While that will conclude things for the video portion of this material, if you would like to know more on this subject matter, please head over to snakesforpets.com. If you're currently viewing this video off-site, as noted earlier, please click the initial link in the description box that is available to you. That very link will take you to the fun. We invite you to explore snakesforpets.com. Have a look around and utilize the search bar. If you have questions, please type in your keywords. There's a good chance we'll have your answers.
And until our paths cross again, we'd like to thank you for taking a moment out of your day to spend it with us. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours. And we'll talk to you later.